Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to discuss the high performance computing using Boost MPI library. Boost MPI is a library for messaging passing in high performance parallel applications. A Boost MPI program is one or more processes that can communicate either via sending and receiving individual message, it's called a point-to-point -point communication, or by coordinating as a group, which is called a collective communications. Unlike a communication in threading environment or using shared memory library, the Boost MPI process can be spread across many different machines, possibly with different operating systems. Boost MPI is not a completely new parallel programming library, rather it is a C++ friendly interface to the standard messaging passing interface, it's called MPI, which is the most popular library interface for high performance distributed computing. Boost MPI library build standard on the MPI implementations. In our environment, we use the Open MPI, which in the preview video we have demonstrated how to download, compiling, installing, and testing our Open MPI implementations. Boost MPI support point-to-point -point communication which when programming running in parallel, they can send the messaging from one process to another process. Boost MPI library support also broadcasting, which we can send a messaging from a root process to all the process in the communicator. Boost MPI library support collective communication, which communication in coordinator in the communicator. In this short video, we are going to focus on the collective communication using Boost MPI libraries. Here on the Linux, we have created three programs, one called MPI Guider.cpp, MPI Skater.cpp, and MPI Reduce.cpp, which is the Guider, Skater, and the Reduce, three most popular collective communication using Boost MPI libraries. In order to use Boost MPI, we have to include the header file mpi.hpp. At the beginning, we have to instantialize an environment object called env, and we have to instantialize the communicator called com. Then for the guider, the guider is a collective algorithm that collects the value stored at each process into a vector of value at the root process. This vector is indexed by process number that value comes from. In our program example, we first instantialize the environment, env, we instantialize the communicator for the com. For the parallel MPI, rank means the ID of the process. If we run the process in parallel 4, rank can be 0, 1, 2, 3, which is the ID of each process. Root process rank is 0, and what's there? We create a vector called my vector. We get the value of this process, and the calculation is my rank times the com dot size. For demo, we just print out the rank and the value as in value. So we use the gather function, which is the gather the in value from each process into a vector at the root. Gather has four parameters. First parameter is the communicator, and the second parameter is the in value, which we get from the each process, include this root process. And the third value in the root, which is the output vector, and the last parameter is the root indicator, the root, which is the zero. After we gather all the information from each process in our vector, we can make a loop to print out rank vector index is the proc and the value of my vector. For the all the other process, not a root process, we still calculate the in value, com rank times the size, and we just print out in each process the rank, the in value, which we can demonstrate the value from each process. And we use the gather function. In this gather function, we only have three parameters. First is the communicator, 
second is the in value from each process this value from this process id is a root so root is zero this gather sent our in value to vectors this is our gather collective the second collective communication is called the scatter it's opposite to the gather the scatter is a collective algorithm that scatter the value stored in the vector at the root process. Root process store the value in our vector and distributed to all the process in the communicator. The vector value indexed by process number corresponding to the value will be sent. In this program, we first instantialize the environment, we instantialize the communicator, so we create the vector. Once in the root process, the rank is zero, we start a loop to store all the value i times the size in our vector. We use the pushback my value, just to store our value in our vector once in the root process. So in the other process, we don't store the value in vector, we use the scatter, get the value from our vector to the out value. First parameter is communicator, everything has to be in the communicator. Second value is the in value, which is from the vector. And the out value, which is we get from this vector, which is an integer declared here. The, this value is corresponding to the rank, the index of the vector we store the value in our root process. Then we make a loop, come down the barrier. It is the synchronized function. When all the communicator get in, then we release. When the r equal to the rank, which is corresponding to our process, and we just print out the out value to see how corresponding process the value get from this my vectors. So this is a scatter collective. The third one is the reduce. The reduce is uh, collective summarize the value from each process into a single value at the user root process. So it means uh, we can summarize all the value from each process into a single value at the root process. So we're still doing the instantialized environment and the instantialized communicator and we get my value and set up with zero at the beginning. So when our in root process create a value called the total value. My value in each process which is equal to the rank time size. So we print out in each rank and our value and we use the reduce to collect the summarize the value from each process into a single value. So the reduce function in the root first is communicator, everything has to be in the communicator. Second is the in value from each process, which is the my value from each process. And in the root, it's rank to the sum size. In each other process, my value is the come rank time size. Next value is int, which is the out value, it's the total value. And the next parameter is the operation. The operation is a binary function object. Binary function object is another topic in the C++. We didn't create our own binary function. We just use ICT plus, which is the standard plus binary function. Add the input value into the total values. We can customize our own binary function object. This demo, we are not focused on the binary function object. So we just use this standard binary function object, std+. After we get a reduce, just print out at which rank, which process, what is the total value after we get from each process. And in the other process, not root process, we still calculate my value, which is just using rank time size. And we print out my value after we calculate it, we print out in which rank we print this out. And we have to use reduce. In this reduce, first parameter is the communicator. Everything have to be in our communicator. And the second value is the in value, which we calculate in each process. And in this is my value. And the third value is the operation, which is the std+, which is the binary function object. 
as value, which is the root process ID, which is a zero. So in each process, no root, we just send this my value to the root. And in the reduce, we get the value from each process and to the output, which is the total value. So in this program, we get each value from each process and we calculate the total value from the each process. So here is our three popular functions we use in MPI applications. So now we try to compile our program. We use the make, compile the gather, scatter, and reduce. So now a programmer has been compiled. So let's go to another terminal and we just run our program. We using the MPI run and we using the OR subscriber, which because our environment have only two processor, we try to run the full process and we run our MPI gather. So MPI gather is a collective algorithm that collects the value stored in each process into a vector of value at the root process. So here we have a rank zero, rank, rank one, rank two, rank three, we have a value 0, 4, 8, 12, which in the each process. We using the gather, collect them into the root, which is the rank zero, into a vector, which vector zero is the value of zero. Vector one is four, which is the process one. And the ve my vector two is eight, which is from process two. Vector value three is 12, which from the process 12. This is the gather func functions. Opposite gather is the MPI scatter. So the scatter is the collective algorithm that scatter the value stored in the vector at the root process and distributed to all the process in the communicator. So the vector, the value in indexed by process number, which is corresponding to the value will be sent. So here we have a vector stored in the root. We create a vector, we start a vector with index zero is a zero, vector one is a four, vector two is eight, and vector three is 12. And we have other all the process, in each process, the process zero, we got a zero, which is stored in the vector zero. And the process one, we got the value is a four, which is stored in the vector one at the root. And the process two got a value eight, which is stored in the vector two in the root. And the process three got a 12, which is stored in my vector in the root three. This is how the scatter working. For the reduce, we're still running in four process parallel. So the reduce collective is summarize the value from each process into a single value at the super specified root process. So each process, the value summarized into the root process. So here, when we run the reduce, each process, we have a process zero, its value is zero. Process one, the value is four. Process two, value is eight. Process three, value is 12. And we summarize all of them into one value, into the total value of process zero, which is the total 24 equal 4 plus 8 plus 12 plus 0. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Hopefully this is useful. It's going to be great to have your feedback.